Hello, today I'm going to talk about uh, how you can find uh, jobs in uh, quant or risk area or modeling area in uh, London or in UK. And I'm going to talk about why it's a good time to move to UK if you're interested to move abroad. Well, London is one of the biggest financial center in the world. In fact, the second biggest out of New York. And uh, it is home to uh, the who's who of finance. You know, almost all big banks and insurance companies, fintechs and hedge funds and trading firms, they're all present in, in uh, London, be it uh, US firms, uh, European firms, Japanese, Australian, New Zealand, Singaporean, uh, Middle Eastern firms, African ones, Chinese as well. All of them are uh, in London. So there's just simply uh, too many companies out there. Hundreds of firms uh, from the financial sector have the home in, in London. I used to be there a couple of years. I was living in Canary Wharf, uh, the financial district of London. And, you know, right next to my home, there was like, uh, I don't know how many such uh, big firms uh, with the offices. So, so there are opportunities, a lot of opportunities there. And if you are keen on making a career in finance, any sort of finance, you know, any type of career in finance or banking, um, I think London is a place to be and certainly in quantitative research or in risk management or modeling, uh, their opportunities are uh, just too much, uh, too much of opportunities. And uh, I think it's the second best after US in my opinion. So um, the biggest challenge, of course, is the visa sponsorship. Getting a job is one thing and getting a visa sponsorship there is uh, a big headache it used to be very difficult actually a couple of years back but things have become better uh, in the last few years uh, after brexit so brexit happened a couple of years back um, britain was part of uh, european union so back then you know the uk companies used to directly hire from european countries you know from eastern european countries like romania or Poland and these companies, uh, even from Greece and all, without having to sponsor the visa. Um, so, you know, getting as an Indian, an out, outside EU, it was very difficult for uh, somebody to, you know, get sponsorship. But things change after Brexit. Because after Brexit, uh, European candidates also have to be sponsored by uh, these uh, UK companies. Without that, they cannot come to the UK for work. So it doesn't matter then whether they hire an Indian or an European, regardless of that, they still have to sponsor the visa. Hence, it has become much better for us Indians to you know go there because sponsorship has become uh, easier compared to what it was a couple of years back. There are still quite a number of challenges, no doubt about it, but it has gotten it has become much, much easier uh, compared to uh, some years back. Now, why London? Well, London is one of the biggest financial center in the world, a lot of opportunity, you go there, in five years time, you get permanent residency, you know, resident, getting a permanent residency is also easier compared to many other countries. You don't have to learn a new language because English is the language of communication. So getting a, uh, um, a permanent residency or, or, or citizenship there is not that difficult. And opportunities are in finance, uh, in quant or otherwise is just uh, very good. Um, so which companies hire and sponsor visa, right? There are many US and uh, European uh, banks that have, you know, back offices in India. For example, JP Morgan or Citibank or Morgan Stanley, Deutsche Bank or uh, Barclay and HSBC. If they want to hire someone, they would rather pay for hiring in India in the back offices because that would cost them much less than hiring someone in London. So if they, uh, yeah, so they don't have an incentive to bring someone from India directly and sponsor their visa, unless you're already working with them in India and then you move laterally. So that's a different thing. Many people have done that. Um, so that was always the case and it has, you know, become even more easier uh, in the recent times. But directly getting a job there uh, is, for these in these companies is a bit difficult. There are exceptions. It's definitely possible, not impossible, but more difficult. But there are many European companies or US companies that do not have back offices in India. 
there are many of them lloyds bank one for example is a big bank in the uk it doesn't have a office in india it doesn't have a back office for risk and quantitative uh, work so that company is ready to sponsor visa or bring people from abroad similarly there are many other european uh, handles so what they call handles land bank or something santander is one credit angol the french bank uh, santander the spanish bank uh, unicredit the italian bank they're all big banks and they have offices in london and they don't have back offices in in the in india so they are the one who are ready to sponsor visa and and get people from abroad so you can try in these places right then there are consulting firms the big four consulting firms they're always looking out for people they do have offices in india all the big four firms have big offices in india but despite that they still hire people directly uh, in the offices in uk in london or elsewhere in uk also and they're ready to sponsor visa it's easiest to get sponsorship in these companies in big four consulting firms compared to in other firms especially in the banks okay so there you can try right and beside these consulting firms there are also some boutique consulting firms smaller consulting firms um i mean they're not as big as uh, you know let's say the ui or pwc or deloitte or kpmg but they are still um, you know of reasonable size you know people you know back in the companies with about 500000 people okay so they are the one also who hire people directly from india so you can you can you can search uh, jobs there also um fintechs hire a lot of people uh, in fact even before brexit fintechs used to hire directly from india and abroad because fintechs are always in need of technical people and i think india is home to a uh, lot of technical people so indians uh, have very good uh, impression in the fintech world uh, outside of india also and certainly in the uk and there are many indians who work as uh, developers or quants or risk managers in you know in fintech companies uh, i know people working there in revolut which is a very famous fintech in the uk uh, many indians working there many who are also in the risk uh, or quant area they are also working there and there are other fintechs also so you can also find opportunities there um then you have the private funds and hedge funds you know these uh, trading firms pension funds uh, all kinds of uh, these sort of companies uh, they are always looking out for highly smart people they don't hire a lot of people so the selection process is very tough but they are always looking out for uh, really smart people uh, i know a company called g research and uh, i spoke to uh, someone from that company and they are always looking out for highly smart people and they are ready to sponsor visa for that so if you are really good if you are an amazing mathematician you should try in these in these companies you know g research and other companies you can always do a bit of a google search and find which companies are which private firms hedge funds are there in in um, in uh, london well one good source is you know uh, e financial career if you go to e financial career uh, there you can find uh, the vacancies in in london in in finance in finance uh, in all areas of finance uh, and also in quant and and risk space there are also all the vacancies are advertised it's a wonderful source linkedin linkedin is also a wonderful source but beside linkedin e financial career which is very specialized recruitment platform for uh, people in finance and risk there also you can find opportunities right um there are other means also like you can go there and study there to master's degree and while you are doing master's degree you can also work part time like 20 hours a week so that's also possible after you finish your degree you get two years of visa work visa to work there so that's also possible your chances of getting a visa increases if you have a degree from there so that's also possible if you are already working in europe uh, it's also a bit easier to get sponsorship compared to if you are working in india if you are working for a european or us bank or consulting firm or or in insurance firm or a fintech already in india then getting an opportunity there for example if you are working in jpmc jp morgan chase in india your chances of getting hired by ernst and young or kpmg or pwc in london is more compared to say you are a fresher or you are working for an indian bank like sbi or 
know, I say say them. You know, that's then a bit more difficult. So these are things I wanted to share with you. If you have questions, do not hesitate to let me know. Um, okay, if I have, you can also contact me or ask me in the comment section. Thank you.